Hi, welcome Libra. Welcome to Magida Priestess channel, or may I say welcome back. Today we're going to be doing your reading for August 1st to the 7th, okay? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Yes, you could be a cross-watcher even, all right? Take the message how it resonates. Please remember that this is general. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information is down below, all right? Just look me up. I am a psychic medium, healer, shaman, okay? Spiritual advisor. So anything that you may need clarity on, just contact me and I can help you with that. Okay, Libra, so as I was shuffling the tarot, okay, I was getting the um, message here that someone feels just very overwhelmed okay somebody feels very overwhelmed and anxious because with the lover's card here gemini and we also have the swords air energy i feel like this could be you okay for some of you this is your own energy or someone around you the person that you're dealing with okay but somebody is heavily stressing you or overwhelmed or this could be you feeling like this because you're dealing with um some type of love here that feels perhaps too intense or um, like things maybe um, feel even, even almost faded, okay? What the lovers also speaks about making a decision. So I feel like you or the person you're dealing with, they're stressing here to make a certain decision about the connection that you guys are in. They know they have to make a decision or you know you have to make a decision. Take it how it resonates, okay? But it's like it's bringing a lot of stress, um, lack of sleep. Somebody just feels very overwhelmed about this connection because with the lovers, it's like whatever this other person is dealing with, whoever that is, it's like they don't compare to you, okay? Because we have the divine angels here, right? Between you and this person, it, there's like a, it feels like a faded, right? Like a divine connection. So some of you guys could be dealing with a twin flame or something like that. Let's check in, all right? Okay, so we have immediately the card of hidden emotions and feelings. So your person or you could be, this is what's stressing it out, okay? But they're hiding the emotions because they could be in a third party dealing with someone else. So they don't want to just kind of open up. But look at this. We have, we are soulmates. This person really feels like, you know, you and this person are meant to be. And we have soulmates here again. This could be your soulmate for some of you. I don't know, but it's like could be a soulmate twin flame here let's see this person is stressing because <coughs> excuse me let's see what else is going on here i came to mind please protect my energy as i channel here for libra sun and rising all right what's going on here with libra the month of august first to the seventh what is this anxiety and stress what's going on Just tell us yes i told you guys look at that it landed right on the Nine of Swords, and you can totally see it says third-party situation. So clearly we have a situation here where someone is stressed out because, you know, they have two people they need to make a decision of. One is a karmic, okay, someone that they have been codependent with, someone that perhaps they've been for a long time, or maybe they have a child with this person, or perhaps this person could be married, and they know that they need to get a divorce to be with you, and that's kind of stressing them out. Because right now these emotions are hidden. I feel like this person, it's it's overwhelming them to keep these emotions hidden and not being able to, I guess, express it to the world. This could be a secret relationship or something like that. Um, let's see if the moon card pops up later on. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. And then we have third party, right? So you are this person's soulmate. Yes, the angels are literally, this is faded. However there's someone coming in between here so it's becoming stressful right now okay we have i've shown what you look like to those close to me okay so this person is speaking uh to other people about these hidden emotions that they feel towards you they're kind of getting advice from outsiders and this could be that third party too for some of you this could be just like friends getting in the way or something like that from whoever this person's getting advice from Let's see what else wants to come through here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising for August 1 through 7. What's going on in this connection, Spirit? Give us the T. Give us the T. Let me fix my ring here. Okay, your person could wear rings because um, I was just fixing mine. Or the ring also means commitment, right? Like someone is wearing a ring. They're, they're married. Okay, ancestors, tell me what else. What else going on in this connection? The stress. 
okay? So this person um, is looking at your social media, okay? They're trying to see if maybe you've moved on, if you have someone else. That's if some of you guys have been like separation, not speaking with this person. We also have, I feel like you moved away from me. Yeah, so this person is checking you out on social media. That's what's stressing them out. It's like, oh my God, is it too late? Did I wait too long to make this decision? Um, I know that I'm still dealing with someone else and perhaps this person is still dealing with this other karmic and so they just, they're stressed because they want to be with you. So they're looking at you, but I feel I sense some fears. There's still some fears here. <clears throat> I saw you with him or her. So this person could have seen you with someone or a picture that you have with someone else on social media. Okay, you could be the one to be in a third party and this person, and that's what's stressing them, okay? That's why they haven't told you about their emotions because you're the one that is also dealing with someone else. For some of you, you're both dealing with a third party, I'm also hearing, okay? And then we have abandoned by mother or father. So this person, right, they said this fears of commitment because they never had a mom or a father, okay? They had a deadbeat dad, someone who wasn't there. So they're kind of like that fear is there. Of them abandoning their kids if they have a child i was using you okay so maybe that's what's stressing this person out that you know maybe they thought that this was just like a sexual connection or maybe they thought they made you think that they were using you and secretly they had hidden emotions tell us what else is going on in this connection for libra in the month of august here abusive relationships yeah this could have been the parents or like this person always feeling like they had to be in some sort of abusive relationship because they were abandoned. Um, okay. I'm also hearing for some of you guys, someone in a third party here, the other karmic relationship, it's someone who's very narcissistical and abusive. Could be just verbal, even physical for some of you. <clears throat> tell me what else is going on here with this third party and this person. Okay, I talk to you telepathically all the time. So yeah, you guys have this divine connection, right? This Adam and Eve connection, right? This Bonnie and Clyde that it's just like, you know, when this person's thinking, you can feel when they miss you. So you're probably even feeling this person's anxiety. I'm also getting some, some kind of mirroring energy here, Libra. What else? Ancestor spirit guides. Okay. I need you in my life. This is what's stressing them, okay? It's like, I need you in my life. I want to be with you. You're over here. You're very spiritual. You're like looking at the angels. You could be very angelic, okay? And then this person is like looking at you. And this is also that sex card. So it's like you're very attracted. You you turn this person on very um, <clears throat> physically. I need you in my life, right? So they telepathically t try to like send you those hidden emotions that they have and tell you that. Yeah, I told you that. Look at that distant affection. This person tries to send you like this distant affection here, like telepathically. Comment down below if you feel it. It says new love. Destiny is guiding you to new love. Okay, so. Yeah, this person is coming to you with an either fresh start or this time trying to commit to this relationship. If this was like a situationship. Um, expect a call in August 1st through the 7th. Okay, the first week of August, this person is going to call you. Let go, walk away. Yeah, because they don't want you to, to walk away, right? <clears throat> what else <clears throat> stay tuned because i'm gonna get into tarot love messages um from cupid's desires and initials okay thank you for watching my viewer and or my fam she's not you are you seeing this guys she's not you this person this other person is abusive to this other to, to your person okay and and she's not you or he or she is not you because the bond that you guys have, right? It's it's already pretty intense. <clears throat> it's it's telepathical, guys. It's a divine connection. Like what? So this person can feel you, especially when they sleep. Yeah, look, someone is dealing with a narcissist here. She's not you. Okay, so this person might be wanting to walk away from whatever they're dealing with or whoever. Yeah, this toxic person. They want to leave this toxic person. Okay, <clears throat> expect some sort of message, <coughs> excuse me, to come through. Communication was blocked, I heard, in the past, but this person is coming to move to the next level in this connection, commitment, okay? So 
<laughs> this doesn't have to be marriage, of course. It's just like I said, wanting a relationship with you now. Um, I have choices, but I only see you. And we did have, right? She's not you. So this person like has that player type of tendency and we have come home, right? Like you feel like home to this person. So tell us what's going on with the third party and such with this toxic person. Anything that wants to come through about this karmic connection. It's just like, it's stressing because this person is laying in this bed, right? It's like this person could be married, laying with this other individual. But the sheets feel so cold, so distant because the passion that you share with this person is unlike any other, right? So it's like no matter who he or she cuddles with, they're not you. I don't desire to be with anyone but you guys. Look, I just told you. I don't desire to be with anyone but you guys. This person has choices, but I only see you. Okay, so they're just like infatuated. Like I said, they only see you. Look at this whole world. You know, you guys are in the garden and look at this temptation here with the snake. Okay. And it's like, there's been something behind the scenes orchestrating this whole thing. And then we have afraid to commit. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, somebody was afraid to commit here, especially from that mother and father drama uh, trauma. Some of you guys, Spirit is saying, some of you guys are not dealing with a third party. You're just dealing with someone who's non-committal, okay? But this person is planning to message you, okay, call you. What else is going on here? Okay. We have thinking of you constantly, right? So you're on this person's mind because they're only desiring you. So even like sexually, they just keep thinking about you and the times you guys have are like haunting this person, that passion and all that stuff. And it feels like now I see, no, now I too see how much it hurts. So they're dealing with some type of karma too, right? Like what it feels like to not have you. He, she blocked you, okay? So the karmic here was blocking this connection or blocked you on social media through this person's page or something like that. <clears throat> but this is a spiritual love. Spirit is saying this is a spiritual love, right? Okay, this card wants to come up. I'm blocking my heart on purpose. In the past, this person was afraid to commit, okay? They were blocking their heart. They were making you feel like they were using you and stuff, right? Because they were blocking their heart. They didn't want to tell you about their emotions, especially because they knew that they're dealing with a very toxic individual and they don't want to bring that energy to you, right? Because they were in another commitment. They're like, no, why would I do this, you know? So, yeah. I'm done eating bread with a Judas. So someone here could have been betrayed and realizing, seeing some truth. This person could be realizing just how toxic this other individual is. <clears throat> Let's see. What else? Did? For some of you guys, Spirit just said this person might just propose to you. Okay, we have I love you. That's the fact, okay? And the karmic has been doing love spells here. I also feel like this person feels like you put some sort of love spell on them. Because they just want you and can stop thinking about you. And the separation hurts, I hear. What else, Spirit, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising? What else going on with Libra here? Tell us about this uh, decision. What is the ultimate... Okay, sexually frustrated, guys. I told you. With that bed and naked body, it's like this person wants you in their bed. Look at this. Look at this bed. Like I told you. Even if this person leaves alone, let's say, and they are not married... They want to lay with you, right? Because this is the sex card. As you see, they're both naked. They want to lay naked with you. They want to cuddle. It's like it's haunting them. If you see all this black space, it's like without you, there's all this blackness. But when they're with you, there comes the sun. It's like you're the light in this person's darkness. So they're heavily sexually frustrated right now. So I 
feel like this is also making them want to make a decision faster to come to you, even though they're in another commitment. Like, I feel like even here, they're not, they may not be having sex with their other person, or it just doesn't feel the same. Like, they envision your face and kind of thing like that. Yeah, they feel like you will always have unfinished business, the two, the two of you. I have bad habits, right? This person has bad habits, like I told you in the beginning. Certain addictions, certain things, so... I care about you so much. Okay, this person does care. It wasn't just sex. I feel alone. This is what's haunting them. For some of you, your person lives alone. Or even if they're married, they just feel alone. And you, with you, they feel like they have a partner. Look at this person just alone here. Somebody feels overwhelmed and alone, even if they have people around them or not. While with you, right, they feel like, okay, well, if the whole world dies... Oh, I'm hearing that song. If the world was ending, you come over, right? See that come over? This person wants you to come over because they're in their room in their house. So it's like if the world was ending, right? It's like you, you'd you come to me, right? Even if we're committed or we're dealing with things, right? Like <clears throat> you'd come over, right? You'd come over, you'd come over, you'd come over, right? Mm make a decision this person knows like i feel alone i need to make a decision release this bad habits and change and be with my person if the world was ending you'd come over right you'd come over right let's take a break so i feel like this person you cut this person off okay you were like let's take a break because right now like i'm not gonna be no second choice right I look at you like my girlfriend. So, yeah, like I said, if you're not dating this person, right? This person is in another commitment or you are. But they see you as their girlfriend. So, of course, they're going to be jealous if you're posting with other, picture, uh, with other people. Even if you're not, this person is just wondering, like, oh, my gosh. Like, are you with someone else? Did you move on? Because they feel very blessed, right? This is like a blessed connection, if you notice. It's like an angel is blessing you both. So, they feel like this is just a blessed connection okay we have let's make love guys this person is sexually frustrated they want to make love they just don't want to have sex okay they want to yeah i'm definitely going to use cupid's desires because they feel like it's meant to be i feel like it's meant to be that's the lovers like i said meant to be i need more time to figure things out yeah this person i feel like some of you needs more time. This person now doesn't need that time, okay? But I do see a certain karmic is blocking this connection right now. But they are wondering if you move on. My phone is about to die soon, so let's get straight into the <clears throat> Cupid's Desires for you guys. Because literally we have either a male or female, a divine masculine or divine feminine here with the spiritual love. Okay, you're both divinely guided sexually freaking frustrated they just want to make love like no one no one your you know your privates <laughs> your things are not like any other okay so this person might be like going to the locations that you're at to kind of see if they'll see you there let's see what are the cupid's desire for uh, libra sun moon rising what is this person feeling with all this sexual frustration what was to come through okay we have thinking Something you said in my head is lingering there. So, yeah, this person's thinking, right? And I feel like it's this. Something you told this person is making them think a lot. Maybe you told them that you won't have sex with them until they break up with this third party or something. I don't know. We have holding back, right? So, although I find myself very attracted to you, I'm trying not to go too far. You still, this person is still holding back this hidden emotions and feelings, right? This is the nine of swords. Like, somebody's just overwhelmed from holding back. So yeah, they didn't want to go too far because they were in another commitment. Fulfilled though. Keep doing what you're doing because I like it. Staring. I just want to stand here and look at you. This person loves your body. They want to stare at your physical body and at your face. I'm tired of feeling alone without you. I just want to be with you, right? And we already had that I feel alone card. You guys saw it. So this person really feels alone without you. Like It doesn't matter who they're with. It's just when they're with you, they feel complete. Yin-yang, right? Lusts. Close the door and take your clothes off. 
I told you this person just finds your body, your sex to be very healing. I'm hearing Kundalini tantrics, okay? Spiritual sex. Person may want you to strip for them. I, I have no idea this is not turning into some sexual thing, but like, hey, this is 18 plus, anyways. Um, hook up. I don't want anything serious right now, just sex, right? So that's what it was, right? This was just a hookup. You guys, this person was holding back because this, if this was just sex, it wasn't anything serious. But then look what happened, right? Distance. All this distance apart is killing me. So of course they miss your body, mind, and soul. Um, this distance had made them realize this hidden feelings that they didn't even know they had for you. Okay, curious. I'm wondering if you miss me as much as I miss you. It's stressing them out not knowing about you because you guys have not talked. I feel like it's really frustrating them not knowing what you're doing. They want to know. <clears throat> Foreplay, savoring every moment. I'm not in no rush. I just want to reach your maximum potential. Yeah, I told you this person wants to take it slow on the bed and stuff because they really crave you. I know this is different because I don't crave anyone like I do with you, right? So this person craves you like no one else. No one else's business. It's just you. When they look at you, it's like, that's it. You have the possession of their mind, body, and soul. And then bottom of the deck, we have hurting. There's pain in my heart for every single moment that we spend apart. This person is hurting because you guys are apart. They want to apologize and they really feel regret for holding back before, okay? So, you can take the high resonance, Libra. I'm going to give you some initials here. This could be how you're feeling or how your person is feeling, okay? In, immediately we have E and T, so alien here. Somebody feels alienated. Um, this could also be the initials of your person. We have Y, A, so yacht, eight. Somebody is, wants to eat you up here. We also have eat. H is also coming up in my head. C, we have M, so meat. Wow, okay, so meaty. You could be, like, very thick and stuff. This person misses, like, your 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 thickness. You don't have to be, but, like, meat, okay, is coming through. We have the letter N and another N. And we have an I. Nina, okay, I heard Nina. Mean. Someone here could be could be acting mean here. I heard Tim and Tim, Tim, uh, Tim and Tim, Tim, okay, we have 10, the number 10, or, you know, that could be a name, we have B and S, okay, that's B, yes, now let me stop, Bye bye we have A and L, lab, this person could work in a lab, we, all have, we also have Sal, okay, that could be a name, I heard Sandy, we have O, Boss, and Voss, okay, B-O-V, Bobs. All right, so, I also keep hearing you're a mean 10, so this person finds you a dime. And Sail, that's a song too, um, I don't know who sings it, but I remember that, Sail, do, 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 do. your name could be Sally, okay, Bob, Bo, with a B-O-E here, Bo. Or initials i'm also getting here sail like this person wants to move towards you and sail towards you you could be at a distance worldly distance right moving waters calmer waters movement all right thank you so much guys for watching this video um spirit is saying let me give you an advice quickly what's the advice in this connection what's the advice for libra sun moon rising before i let him go What's the advice? Okay. Ooh, your advice is that there's sudden wealth. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. So you're going to feel in August 1 through the 7th, some sort of luck or money coming towards you as well here. You could be seeing 777, 711. These are synchronicities. Okay. And then we have thoughts. Someone is just thinking about you, right? This person just can't stop thinking about you. Your advice is also to get out of your head. <laughs> if you are this Libra here who's stressing, you need to get out of your head. Okay? Yeah, this person, I'm telling you, some of you guys are coming. This person is coming with a proposal. And they feel, like I said, very blessed, very lucky. You guys are getting some type of wealth here. And we have marriage. There could be a proposal coming here. And for all those of you, this is your person also could be married here. 
or just commitment here all right so thank you so much libra for watching stay tuned for my next video deuces